What's good everyone, it's Chambers from ChambersMixit.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys three music theory tricks that you can use in your beats every day. Now these are going to be some pretty basic tricks, but if you're interested in learning more in-depth and more advanced skills and tricks about music theory, I highly recommend to you my brand new online class, ChambersCourses.com. We already have an entire course set up for you guys, the Music Theory Basics course. I'm teaching you from scratch all about scales, minor chords, major chords, how to make melodies from chords, how to make melodies just freestyling, how to add bass and 808 and drums to put rhythm on the beat, how to mix your beats, how to structure and arrange your beats fully for an artist to record on. I already have some production courses out too. Next month we're going to do ambient trap. After that I got the first placement breakdown course coming out where I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how I made the beats for the placements that I have. I'm talking about songs that I produced for KSI and Future and 21 Savage, Lil Durk, Shy Glizzy, Drake or The Ruler, all that stuff. Shout out to everyone who's already signed up and taking advantage of the class. I really appreciate you. Sign up now. Link in the description and in the comment section. All right so let's get into the first trick. This is going to be making tension in minor chords right. So I'm in the piano roll right here and I have a piano sound and what I did was I made a C minor triad chord it's a triad chord because it has one two three notes in it right C minor triad chord right here I'm gonna show you guys the technique to create tension in a minor chord and this is great when it comes to making like darker trap beats because you want that suspenseful that tense sound to it that dark feeling let's take this chord I'm gonna copy it by hitting Control B duplicate it over this is the chord that we're going to change. So the trick is very simple. We're going to be using half steps. And a half step, also called a half note, is when you go up or down just one note. So there's two locations that I use the half step technique on in a minor chord. And that's this note right here, the middle note, and this note right here, the leading note on the top. So to make this chord more tense with the middle note, you can actually move it down a half step, which is just down one note from this D sharp down to the D. And with the G up here, the leading note in the chord, the top note, you can move that up. Now it's like a trap chord progression. There's a lot of tension in it. So that's the basic technique, but now let's use it more in context, right? So let's say, I'm gonna break it up into two chords right here, two of the same chords. We'll do this one. We'll take the middle note and we'll go down, half step. And then in this chord, we'll do both. So down in the middle and up one on the top. And now we have a very tense, like dark trap chord progression just by using half steps. Now let's say you sign up for my online class and you learned a whole bunch of other techniques and it sounds something like this. Let's go on to the next technique. This technique I just call it down five. So before we were just working with the C minor triad, but now I expanded the chord. Now it's a C minor ninth chord. And of course, if you want to know how to expand chords from triads to seven chords to ninth chords to 11 chords to 13th chords, that's all in the online class. So I'm gonna actually show you two techniques with this. This, this could be like the bonus one. So I'm gonna have this chord. C minor 9, control A, control B again, just to duplicate it over. I'm going to use this chord to make a melody. I'm just going to break up the chord. I'm not going to change any notes. I'm just going to change the positioning of the notes. So watch what I do. Same exact notes. All I did was move them over a little bit. And now it's going to sound more like a melody because I'm kind of breaking up the chord and, and playing it out as separate notes. Now I'll add a note right here. So that's the bonus trick. You could break up a chord and make it sound more like a melody just by moving around the notes. But here's the main trick. It's very simple. All you do is hit Control A, Control B, duplicate it over. And what you want to do is just go down five semitones or five notes. And you could do that by hitting Shift and the down arrow five times. One, two, three, four, five. So it should look like this now. And here's what it's going to sound like. And that's a great trick, especially with plug music, because it's really simple. All you gotta do is highlight it, duplicate it over, put it down one, two, three, four, five, and it's gonna sound good. All right, let's move on to the last technique. This one I'm gonna call different root notes. So again, we have our C minor triad chord right here, right? We're in C, and it's just three notes, so it's a triad chord. Now, a lot of people, what they do when, when you wanna make like a bass duplicate of the chord, so it's like this, you take that root note and you go down an octave. So it has like that more, that more bassy tone to it. A lot of people think that you can only use the root note of the chord, right? The root note of this chord, the bottom note is C. So a lot of people think that they can only use C as the bass note for the chord. That's not true at all. So I'm going to show you guys how you can use different root notes in your chord progressions to give it more feeling. So here's a great trick used in a lot of, a lot of trap chord progressions, like especially Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, stuff like that. Take your bass notes, right? You want to go down four. 
one, two, three, four. And now I'm gonna duplicate this chord just like that. And then the next one you could do, you could go up two, and I'm gonna change this chord. I'm gonna drop this down two semitones, so it's a different chord. Let's duplicate this whole thing again, except for this root note. Now we're gonna hit the C. Now we're back at our normal position, the C, the root note. And then again, we could just go back down to the A sharp with this chord. So here's what that's gonna sound like. The root notes of these chords is C all the way through, but that doesn't mean that you can only use C as the root note. See, I started four semitones down at this G sharp, and it's like I'm going up the staircase, right, with the bass notes. So we go from the G sharp, we go up to the A sharp, then we go up to the C. Here's where we hit the C, and then we go back down to the A sharp, back down to the G sharp. So you don't always have to start with just a C. I'll show you a different variation of that. Let's start with this C minor triad. I'm gonna cut this chord in two like we did before with the first technique. This one I'm gonna have go down four. And this one I'll have the in between. Between the C and the G sharp is the A sharp. And again, I'll do that same thing with the chord right here with the A sharp where I brought it down two semitones at the top note. That type of chord progression is found in so many songs today, but that's the trick, really. You don't always have to use just the root note as the bass. Even though the root note of the chord stays as C, you can move out of that. And a great way to do that is to go down four semitones and then go up two. So from the G sharp to the A sharp, back to the C. And that could work with any key, really. Like, it doesn't have to be C. But yeah, so those are the three music theory techniques that I use a lot. Again, that's using tension in your minor chords. That's the down five technique and the using the chords to make a melody technique. And that's the using different bass notes technique. Thank you all for watching. I hope you can use these techniques in your beats. And if you're interested in learning more in-depth and more advanced skills and tricks when it comes to music theory, not only that, but making drums and mixing and structuring, arranging, you want to see full-length production courses where I'm making beats from scratch, whether it's dark trap, melodic trap, ambient trap. We got R&B coming in. We got drill coming in. Placement breakdown courses dropping so soon. This is not anything you will ever find on this YouTube channel. But that's all at chamberscourses.com. Link in the description and in the comment section for you. Sign up now. I'd love to have you. And of course, all the people who sign up always have access to my email you can ask me questions ask me for feedback or critique at any time and i will always answer you guys leave a comment let me know what tutorials you guys want to see in the future it's chambers from chambersmixed.com thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace